Welp, after an entire weekend of Xbox server outages, I'm finally able to play Xbox again. I mean, what the heck was going on around here? What a mess. Let me know in the comments if you were affected, but today, we're gonna talk about one of my favorite exclusive Ferraris, the 2010 599 GTO. I'm gonna show you how to get it and also what it's worth. The one thing I will say I don't like about this car is that it was added in as an exclusive in Mexico, but it was in multiple other Forza titles. To me, exclusive means, hey, this is a brand new car to Forza, and unfortunately with Horizon 5, they've really stained the meaning of exclusive. But I will say it did make me appreciate this car that I probably wouldn't have really used otherwise. The upgrade ability on this thing is perfect. You can literally build it for whatever use you want. The gameplay you're seeing, of course, is S1 real-world drive against those pesky unbeatable drive guitars. But seriously, I love the feel of this car. It's really enjoyable, it's competitive, and it's also a pretty rare car. If you check the auction house, you might get lucky and see one sitting there for 8 mil, but most of the time when you search, you'll find Nada. The GTO was originally added during Series 2 Winter, and since then it got pretty expensive and hard to find, but you do have a chance to unlock it for free right now during Series 7. It's the 160 point series reward, and I feel like a lot of people are going to overlook this because of course the brand new SF90 Stradale is sitting right next to it. But if you get a total of 160 points or more, of course, combined from the four seasons in Series 7, you'll have the SF90 Stradale, but you'll also unlock the 599 GTO, and this way you won't have to waste any time or money at the auction house if you still need this car. Series 7 ends on May 26, so make sure you're keeping up with the seasons each and every week. Go get that GTO, let me know in the comments if you enjoy it as much as I do. Don't forget to smash that like button and maybe consider subscribing if you're new. Also check out that new little thank you feature that they have added to YouTube, but I'm out, I will see you on the next video.